Hello, it's How To Not To, and in today's video, I'll be showing you step by step how to fix error code 0xc000225. There have been issues with updating Windows 10 recently, and laptops have not been able to boot up. This is because the files to boot up the system may not be found or may be corrupted. I recently updated my PC and got this message. So the first thing to do is press S. This takes you to the recovery menu. Click on troubleshoot, then start up repair. However, if this doesn't work, we'll move on to step two. For step two, click on troubleshoot. Again, command prompt and type boot rec space rebuild BCD like this. This option scans all disks for installations that are compatible with Windows Vista or Windows 7. Additionally, it lets you select the installations that you want to add to the BCD store. Use this option when you must completely rebuild the BCD store. Next, go into command prompt and type boot rec space slash fix boot and restart your PC. For step four, if that doesn't work, go back into command prompt and type disk part. Click return, then type list disk, then select disk zero and then type select partition and type activate OK. After this, you need to restart your PC. For step five, you need to write boot sec space slash space NT60 space C colon. By doing this, the boot sec XE updates the master boot code for hard disk partitions to switch between boot MGR and NT loader. You can use this tool to restore the boot sector on your computer. Again, restart your PC. However, if this doesn't work, we're going to move on to step six. You need to type SFC slash scan now slash off boot DIR equal sign C colon slash slash off win DIR equal sign C colon slash windows in command prompt. The FSC scan now command will scan all protected system files and replace corrupted files with a catched copy that is located in a compressed folder at windyr system32 slash dr cache. This means that you do not have any missing or corrupted system files. For step seven, type HKDSK space C colon space slash R. So now that is examining your files. Okay, when you've rebooted your PC, it still came up with the error code. So the final and last thing to do is download and install Windows 10. To install Windows 10, if the other options do not work, you need to reinstall it. So what you need to do is you need another laptop to be able to do this. Ensure you have enough free space, a minimum of eight gigabytes. So we've just got a SanDisk 16 gigabyte USB to put into the computer to install Windows 10 to another laptop. On the screen, we have the page which is the media creation tool for Windows 10. So firstly, we need to put our USB into the laptop. Once you've um, clicked download the tool down here, you'll see the media creation tool. Now click that and it will ask you, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You click yes. It should get things ready for you. Okay, so next you'll have the terms and conditions and then you need to click accept. So now you'll be greeted with two options. We're not upgrading this PC, we're creating a media installation um, tool, like the installation media. And this is if you have a USB flash drive, DVD, or you need an ISO file for another PC. So this is the one that we're going to click. And then you're going to click next. Okay, so this is about selecting the language, architecture and edition. Um, if you want to use another a language than English or another edition than Windows 10 and not a 64-bit, um, maybe you want to use a 32-bit, then you change those. And But how to change it, you'd unclick this and then you change it manually. Like you could do the drop down, you can change it. 
but we're going to be using the recommended options for this process. So we're going to keep it like that and we're going to click next at the bottom. You need to choose which media to use. You can use a USB flash drive and it needs to be at least 8 gigabytes. And if you have um, a DVD, normally it has to be 8 gigabytes as well. Because people have said that it doesn't work because it wouldn't have enough space. So we're going to be using USB flash drive, so we've checked that and then we're going to click next. Um, then you need to select the USB flash drive. So I'm just going to re refresh the drive list. What you need to do is you need to go to your USB drive and you need to find what letter it represents. So our one is F. So when I go out, so you're going to just click out now. And we have found that the removable disk that represents our USB flash drive is F. So then you need to go down and click next. And it will be downloading the Windows 10 to that USB drive. And you have to wait till it gets to 100%. After I tell you that your USB flash drive is now ready. So what you need to do is you need to click finish. And then it will be done. So after this, you will need to take out your flash drive and put it into the laptop, which you need to install the Windows 10 to. Okay, so now I'm going to take it out and here it is. Of an HP model. And this laptop has been in automatic repair loop. Um, therefore, we need to reset the Windows 10. So you need to just go to the recovery screen. When it says repair failure, you just need to click ESC and then it will take you to the recovery screen, which will give you a list of options. I'm going to show you which option you need to pick. So you need to click when you have user device option, USB drive, which is the UEFI. So now you need to go to language to install. So we're going to click English and United Kingdom. Okay, and then you need to click next. Install now. Then you just accept the license terms and click next. I don't want to upgrade, I want to custom install Windows only. For this step, you need to delete the partitions. So I'm going to delete. Partition is being deleted. I'm just going to delete all the partitions as I'm starting a fresh new window. So now we have an, a drive zero, which is an unallocated space after we deleted some of the partitions, which is what we need. All the partitions have been deleted and now we have an unallocated space and all that space that was taken up by those partitions are now all in one and all the data has been removed. So now we can click next. And now it's going to copy the Windows files, it's going to get files ready for installation, installing the features, installing updates and getting finished. So we need to go through all those steps. So this shows its progress. So we'll have a fresh new Windows which has no corrupted partitions. It is, so we've progressed quite a lot now, so we're just gonna be installing updates. So now it says getting finished, and the windows will need to res restart to continue. So restarting in a few seconds, and we'll see what happens. So it's starting the services. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. So now you need to click the region that you belong to. So we're in the United Kingdom, so we're going to click that and we're going to click yes. You want to add a second keyboard layout. I'm going to skip this step, um, this step as I don't want to. So now I'm going to be connecting to the internet. Click next. So I'm going to create an account. So we've just um, connected the laptop to the Microsoft account to a phone number. So we put the verification code in that came up after it said that we're going to send us an SMS. So now we need to create a PIN. So if anything happens and you need to go into security settings, you have to know this PIN to access. So make sure you remember this PIN that's memorable to you. I have now created my PIN, so I'm going to click OK. So after you've sorted out your pin, it will come to 
this. So do more cross devices with activity history. Um, you just click yes and no if you want these features. Get instant access to your Android phone, photos, text, notifications. I'm just going to do it later. I don't want them to know where my location is. Find my device. No. I don't think I'm going to lose my laptop. <laughs> Send diagnostic data. Almost done. So this will get the few things polished for you and Windows will be yours. Looking forward to helping out. Okay. Hi. We're getting everything ready for you. Okay, so welcome to Windows. So now it's worked and we're in Windows. So I'm just going to close this and this is what it looks like when you've reinstalled Windows. It's all empty, all clean and yeah. So I just need to um, restart my computer because apparently it's required to do all the stuff that needs to be done. So I've just restarted it and it's come up with this. And yeah, so it works. So guys, this is how to install Windows 10 to a laptop, which maybe doesn't have Windows 10, has an earlier version like 8.1 or 7. Or if you're stuck in automatic repair loop like me, you can install Windows 10 and it will be fixed. So yeah, thank you for watching and please like and subscribe the video. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs>